G'day, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and what you're about to see is a short clip from Hosanna Farm Stay that we stayed at for a weekend. If you want to see the full video, it's on my main channel, Self Sufficient Me. This channel is Self Sufficient Me too, it's a bit of an overflow channel. And this is showing the pig side of it, the full clip that isn't shown in the original video. Enjoy. <coughs> to our pigs. 18 months ago we started with four pigs. Actually we started with two pigs and um, and raising pigs here was a little bit of a happy accident because we took on a rescue pig. So this is Pepper and Pepper was three years old when she came to us and she was very depressed because pigs don't like switching families. So she was raised by a human family and when she came to the farm to live her best farm life she, um, she had a bit of trouble adjusting. She's five years old now and she's given us a few litters of piglets since, but we were so inspired by <laughs> we were so inspired by her that we actually took on another rescue pig as well. And she's actually doing some work prepping our garden beds at the moment, so we'll take you over there in a little while. But the next pig that we took on is Kevy, Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon. <laughs> so, and so Kevy is a prolific breeder. So yep. that's how we went from four pigs to about I think we counted this Last morning night, fifty-four. We had another little born and there's fifty-four now. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's too many oh. pigs. And the reason I say it's a bit of a happy accident is that one of the things we were looking at is these paddocks. So this sort of four acres here and on this hillside here, we were really looking to be a little bit of a test case for ourselves on how we can do some land regeneration and rejuvenation. Typically we've only ever kept cows in here. There were a few miniature horses, they've moved on. But we've got a really small herd that we call our dairy herd. Um, and what we're trying to raise up is a herd of jerseys. So we got ourselves a Jersey bull a couple of years ago and he's magnificent. And he's since had a couple of offspring. We've got him partnered with just a few other cows just for company at the moment. But what we really want to see is a benefit to the cows in what we do to the land. And the pigs are the first step in that. So our pigs are actually helping us prepare our soil. And we found that these paddocks were really, really compacted. And there were only one or two species of grass that were growing here. And they were species that loved really tight, compact soil. And so they would grow really hard, woody types of grasses, which the cows can eat. But cows like us like a real variety. And so in order to increase the variety of grass species, we knew we needed to sow. And we also knew we didn't want to plow if we didn't have to. So we took on nature's plows. So we Excellent. might give them a little bit of feed so you guys can get up real close to them Nobody if you want. Cares about these guys. JJ, can you run and turn the fence off for us, mate? If you want to come in with the piglets. We'll just get JJ to switch that fence off. It is 10,000 volts. We get the special to us. We get the special to us. <laughs> so these are all Kevies. <laughs> Girls. So these pigs are nine months old. Um, they were born on a pizza night in August. So these guys were born on a pizza night in April. Um, All right, it's off. Jump on, jump on over if you want. The fence is off. So these guys here, they were born last week. Oh. <coughs> Calm down, Mum. Put your foot in the gap. <laughs> and that's how backyard pigs start. <laughs> well, he wants a goat. <laughs> goats eat everything. If you like plants, you can't have goats. And I like plants. <laughs> so Pe so the, the way that this happened was Peppa and Hercules spent a night together one night, one fateful night. And we accidentally, we didn't know that she was pregnant. And so she had ten out in the sun like one yeah. night and so we ended up with three and she was the worst mother ever and we ended up raising them in our bedroom okay. yeah. so Pumba, Hamlet and Miss Piggy who are all over here um, they were raised in our bedroom so obviously we're quite connected to them um, and then they kept breeding and they kept breeding and now we say there's no more raising pigs in bedrooms because it was <laughs> Huh. One experience that we will only do one time. Yeah. Um, so if we have a run that's a little bit weaker, we leave him and let nature make do its yep. thing. Yeah. Nature, yeah. yep. 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 No, more to, no more to our <laughs> in the middle of the night. That's just outrageous. There you go. 
Pigs are really social communal animals as well. Yeah. So one of the things we've discovered, and it's a really great idea, if we can get our mums to give birth at the same time, which doesn't always happen, they'll actually share the responsibility. So what we'll see is one mama will lie down, and next thing you know, we've got 20 pigs feeding off of her, and half of them aren't hers. We'll just put it down. Isn't that good? Yeah. Hello. So the way we're oh, yeah <laughs> good, good, good on you. Yep, yep. The way that we talk about them is that they're pigs <laughs> and they are the they are their pigs and they are their mums. It's just like this big yeah. wet nurse situation going on. They'll do that for about three weeks. They'll all just share feed and then the the piglets will know who mum is and they'll start to separate off the mum. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> yeah, they will. They'll burrow. So they are like, you have to care for them kind of like a human. And they can die of cold, they can get sunburns. Um, they need their shade, they need plenty of water, they love their mud, um, and they love to dig. Yeah, you great. It's a real place. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. 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 The kids love it, obviously. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really, what got us wanting to do this was so this is a really high rainfall area, and drought hit here, and we're still learning in so many ways, and we just lost so many cattle. The supplement feeding was not what they needed. They needed pasture, but we had something years of unmanaged pasture. So we're like, all right, how do we never go through that again? How do we make it so that our soil retains more water so that we don't ever get faced with that kind of awful, those awful decisions that you have to make? Um, and if that's up here experiencing that, I can't even imagine what anybody west of the Great Dividing Range would have, have had to deal with. But yeah, that was a pretty brutal introduction to cattle farming for us. Well, I hope you liked that video. Make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it around and also subscribe if you haven't already. Pretty interesting, isn't it? How they can use pigs in that harsh soil before cows to repasture. I think that's great. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.